Hello and welcome to my Terraria beginner's guide. So before we start I would like to say that if you've ever played Terraria before, these first episodes of this series might not be for you. However, as this series progresses I will go through more endgame stuff. So with that said, let's begin. So I would recommend having the Terraria wiki open at all times when playing Terraria as you will come across items, monsters, etc that you've never seen before and it's always helpful to check what they are on the wiki and just get some basic information about them. But now for the game itself, before you can actually play you have to create your character. So to do that press single player, press new character and here you can create your character. The appearance is purely cosmetic and it really doesn't matter how you look. Uh, if you've never played before I would highly recommend to play the game in softcore, the game mode softcore. Uh, which means that you will only drop coins if you die. The game mode should be set by so, uh, set to softcore by default. As you can see, if you play on medium core, your character will drop items on death, and you f if you play on hardcore, you will die instant. You will die forever, basically. So play softcore. So once you've decided how your character should look like, just press create. Just just name your character and press submit. What you do next is you press play, you create a new world, and for the world creation I would highly recommend choosing a large one if you plan on playing this on this world for a long time. Because the or a medium works fine as well, but the small ones are very small, so I would not recommend them. And now for the difficulty, just play normal. Uh, if you play expert the monsters will deal a lot more damage and they will have a lot more HP, so I would recommend playing on normal if you have never played this before. Just name your world and press submit. So as you can see, once the game is loading and creating the world, this may take a while if you made a large world. And another thing worth noticing is, as you can see here, on the world creation, it's red. This means that the world contains a crimson biome. If it's purple, it will have a corruption biome. I will talk about more about biomes and that in later episodes, but it's just worth noticing. Once you're in the game, you will most likely begin or spawn in the forest biome, which is the one I spawned in. As you can see, there are a lot of grass and trees here, some stone and some mushrooms. A biome is basically an area that contains different monsters, blocks, backdrops, etc. There are a ton of different biomes here in Terraria, but the one you have to know for now is the forest one. For example, the forest biome mostly contains green grass, which is you, the one you can see here, uh, trees, and the main monsters to look out for are slimes. You can see one over there. So this forest is a very good place to begin in. So now for the controls, you move left and right by you pressing A and D respectively. You jump by pressing the space bar. To climb ropes, you use uh, W to climb up and S to climb down. S can also be used to fall through different platforms that you can place. And to open the inventory, you press escape. As you can see here, quite a bit of stuff pop up. On the top right here, this is your inventory. Everything you pick up, uh, every weapon, item, block, everything you pick up will go here. You have 50 slots, so to move around items in your inventory, all you do is you left click and you can move around. If you have a stack of something, you can press right. You can right click to split the stack. As you can see, there are quite a lot of slimes here. Alright, so something you might have noticed is that the top row here... Something you might have noticed is that the top row here is numbered 1 to 0. This is called the hotbar. And as you can see, even if I close the inventory, the inventory interface, the hotbar is still up here. You can... Equip different items in the hotbar by uh, left clicking. You can use the scroll bar to move uh, and highlight different items. And you can also press 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 0. 9 and 0, of course. To use an item you have here, 
in your toolbar or in your hotbar all you have to do is left click so to use this sword all I have to do is left click and you have to be a bit precise because this thing in the beginning is not very good so another thing you might have noticed here is that there is a greyed out trash can a, tr a slot that is greyed out down here and this is a trash can if you place something down here uh, it can act as an extra slot but if you were to place something else down there the previous item will disappear so this is basically you will throw away your stuff here and uh, they will never return they are gone forever now so I would not recommend using this as an extra slot. You can, but I would not recommend it because you might forget it. As you can see here are two other there are two other columns for stuff to store. So ammo is basically arrows, bullets, and stuff like that. Things you can shoot with bows and guns. Uh, basically pro projectiles. It can be a rocket launcher ammo as well. Coins, very self-explanatory. There are four main coins, copper coins, silver coins, gold coins and platinum coins. For example, 100 copper coins is one silver. 100 silver coins uh, is one gold. 100 platinum and uh, 100 gold is one platinum. So it's basically the currency you use to buy and sell stuff with NPCs. So back to the interface, in the bottom left you will see another inf interface. Uh, these are basically all of the items you can currently craft with the items you have in the inventory. So crafting in Terraria works the same way as in most other games, meaning you collect items to craft other items, to make other items. Amora, most items require a certain crafting station, which is most of the time some kind of furniture that you place and, sta and stand nearby to use. So you can cycle between the items you can craft by using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Currently all I have is a few ropes, so there is really nothing I can craft. Once you've decided what you want to craft, you can just left click it to create it. You can also right click and hold if you want to create or craft multiple. So to the left here, you can see all of the equipment. There are three different columns. There is one down here. All you can have here are dyes, which are purely cosmetic. So these right here are social, or, uh, social armor and social accessories. So these are also just cosmetic. They don't do anything to your character, they just change how you look like. But to the right, the top four slots, the top three slots, sorry. So the top three slots here are helmet, shirt and pants slot. So here you can equip your armor. If you equip your armor here, you will gain the defense and attack bonus that the armor gives. However, if you equip it to the left here, you will not gain anything. It will just look differently. So down here you have 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 slots for accessories. So accessories in Terraria are basically just items that can allow you to do different things to make everything simple for example there is one a category of accessories that is called wings so wings once you equip them they allow you to fly there are also various accessories that give you more defense that give you more offensive bonuses and there are just quite a lot of accessories and these are very useful and again here you have to equipment in the right slot otherwise you will not gain the uh, bonus from them so above the vanity or social slot, you can see an image of a house. You can press this to see all of the current NPCs that you build house for. Note that NPCs will not appear unless you've built a house for them and that you meet the other requirements for that specific NPC. So I will talk more about NPCs in a later video because they are very important. Anyways, you can check if a house you've built is suitable by pressing the question mark up here. And then in the desired location, just place the, que the question mark. So let's say I built a house here. You can left click. Of course, I haven't built anything there. So this is not a valid housing. That is a great thing to check if your house is good or not for NPCs. So if you press the hook or the equipment slot here, 
Uh, this is basically for pets, light pets, minecarts, mounts and grappling hooks. So you can ignore this for now because you will not find it, any of these anytime soon. And finally what we have up here is the map. So this will show you all of the areas you have discovered, it will also show your current location. You can zoom in and out by pressing the plus button and the negative button and just press the equal to default it. You can also press tab if you want to change the view if you want to have some kind of transparent map. And you can press tab again to have it completely disappear and tab again to have it appear again. And the very final interface we want to look at is the one up here. This is your life. You want to keep a close look at this at all times because some monsters hurt quite a bit. Up here is your mana slot. Mana is basically used when you are using magic. So magic weapons use mana instead of... That is basically the ammo for mana. I will talk more about this later. So with all of that said, let's actually begin playing the game. First off, you've, as I said, most likely spawned in a forest biome. It is also possible to spawn in a snow biome as well. If you do, I would recommend walking to either the left or the right and find a forest biome. Uh, those are a lot less harmful than a snow biome. So when you create a new character, you will begin with some basic copper tools that are placed in your hotbar up here. Uh, the copper short sword is used to kill monsters, the pickaxe is used to mine blocks and the axe is used to cut down trees. So with that said, let's build our very first house. So first off, use your scroll wheel until you've equipped your axe, or you can press free. And by the way, to use the item you've equipped, press the left mouse button. So to start chopping down some trees, all you have to do is just aim at the very bottom of the tree and chop it down. Once you aim it at the bottom, the entire tree will disappear once you've chopped down the bottom. So do this until you have around 2 to 300 blocks. So this will not take too long. So once you have some wood, it's time to craft your very first item. So you press escape to open your inventory, and then scroll down until you can see the workbench. Left click that thing, and you've crafted your very first workbench. So what you do is just, uh, once you equip it, and you have it placed in your hotbar, just scroll until you've highlighted it, and then you can just place it by left clicking. So to use the workbench, all you really have to do is just stand nearby it. Open your interface and now you can see I can craft a ton of more things. Alright, so let's continue building our house. So what you want to do is you want to find a plane surface that is at least 10 blocks. It doesn't have to be exactly 10 blocks. So I'm sorry I got a bit carried away there. It was because I found one of those pinkies, which is basically a pink slime. And I would recommend killing them because as you can see here I got pink gel and I got a bunch of gold. So if you see one of those, definitely kill them. It will take a few minutes to kill them, but it's definitely worth it. So anyways, let's continue building our house. So what you, all you have to do is really... Just place a few blocks by left clicking. It has to be at least three blocks high for it to be a valid housing. I will just completely close everything out now so no one will be able to attack me. So once you've done that, what you can do is open your crafting interface. And what we're looking for now is a chair. A chair is one of the requirements to make a valid housing. We will also need some wood walls. And... I would also recommend making a wooden hammer because the hammers are used to chop down or to remove these walls. So once you've done that, as you see it's very dark in the house, so what you have to do is craft a few torches. So scroll up until you find the torches and one, uh, you can make three torches by combining gel and wood. Gel is basically obtained by killing slimes, so you should already have killed a few slimes. 
And as you see, torches in Terraria are quite unique, because all you have to do to get the effect of a torch is just hold it. You don't actually have to place it. However, if you place it, they will stay there permanently, until you remove it by... Torches can be removed by right-clicking. You don't need a tool to remove them. So, once you build your basic house frame, you'll need to grab your pickaxe and destroy some uh, wooden blocks here. As you can see, this is three, basically three blocks high. So now what we wanna do is craft a door. And just place it like any other things. So you can open and close the door by right clicking. As you can see, that's our very first house. So let's just double check to see if it's valid. Press the housing key, the question mark, and then inside the house. This housing is suitable. So that's perfect, just in time for the night. As you can see, it's night time now. So right now there are zombies walking towards me. So we need something better to defend ourselves. So what I would recommend is making a wooden sword. Because for some reason wooden swords are better than copper short swords. So just, you can trash this. And as you can see the wooden sword is basically, it swings a lot longer than the copper sword did. So this thing is a lot better. As you can see, we can now kill zombies fairly easily. So I would recommend just once you've got your copper, uh, once you've got your wooden sword, just kill a few zombies. Get used to the combat in this game. You can of course jump around and def try to defend yourself. So what to do during the night? Well, what you could do is just stay inside your house. However, nights in Terraria are most of the times quite useful. Uh, it's not bad to explore during the nights because once you progress further into the game, uh, specific NPCs will only, uh, specific monsters, I should say, will only spawn during the night. However, in the be very beginning of the game, exploring during night time will be quite annoying because there are these demon eyes that deal a lot of damage and zombies also deal quite a bit of damage. So I'd recommend staying inside during the night. If you ever get in a tight situation like I am in here, all you can do is just settings, save and exit, press single player and go back to your world. And you will spawn basically where you spawned in the very beginning. So that is a very cool trick to use if you ever get in a kind of bad situation. So as you can see there, I really had no chance with this gear. So what to do in your first night if you've never really played Terraria before and if you haven't really progressed anything. What I would recommend is just do some digging because monsters will not spawn uh, here. They will spawn in bigger caves but you can avoid them. So just uh, get some wooden platforms and place them there. And all you have to do now is just dig straight down until you found a few caves that seem to be fairly safe. And if you ever want to get back up, use your wooden platforms, place them as high as you possibly can, or as high as you feel like. I normally place them something like this. So you can just jump up. And to move down, all you have to do is hold the S button. So during the night time, just explore a bit. And once it becomes day again, explore on the surface. I will of course have more tutorials about this in the future. But as for now, just uh, during the night, explore downwards. And during the day, explore the surface. Is that okay? Alright. So if this tutorial helped you, please comment, like and subscribe for more videos. I will definitely upload more in this Complete Beginners series just to give you a good uh, tutorial.